What's up guys, about another video. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at the uh, crafting event. So <clears throat> as you can see, I, I finished it all. All right, so at the end of it, you'll get a tier two uh, premium selector. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the characters for it and which one will be the best options to the ones that are kind of useless. <clears throat> All right, so most of these characters are farmable in Dimension Missions and uh, Epic Quest, so I would uh, highly re refuse to uh, say you could select them like the X-Men. You can get them from the Epic Quest, which is very easy. <clears throat> Colossus is a bio shifter in uh, the Deadpool Epic Quest and uh, the Dimension Missions, so I would uh, skip him also. Uh, Nightcrawler, you can uh, craft his bio, so that would uh, be a skip also. Now, like I said, most of these are farmable from Dimension Missions. Uh, the only ones that are kind of rare and that are of use would be uh, Nick Fury because of his leadership and support. Uh, Namor, which is a very good uh, combat villain uh, if you don't want to build up Doc Ock. But Doc Ock is a better option because he is a human. But Namor is still uh, good. Uh, <clears throat> we have Sunbird, which technically is a support for the Wars of the Sky. If you want to do like a little niche uh, timeline battle team. Uh, Red She-Hulk does have a little bit of uh, PvP value. Uh, I wouldn't say as much because she's only tier 2. Uh, Thane is uh, recently pretty good with his new uh, Phoenix Force uniform. Uh, but that's up to you if you want Thane. Uh, Dazzler, which is a mutant uh, premium character, just like Namor. You don't have to get her from the sub. Uh, but she is a, a really good support character uh, for like ABX and ABL. If feel you. You uh, decide you want to go with that game mode. Uh, let's see who else is a good one. Polaris is definitely a good lead slash support, especially for ABL, uh, X Men Day. Uh, just like Dazzler, but uh, Polaris can't go to tier three. Uh, and the rest are kind of mediocre. Uh, you should at least have Spot. Omega Red and Sylvie from the free uh, events if you didn't get it or like Toxin if you didn't get it then you'd have to pay uh, money uh, but <clears throat> I wouldn't get those characters really because they're kind of uh, useless right now uh, but really the main ones that uh, are of use are Polaris uh, I would say Dazzler uh, Namor and Nick Fury and like I said, the other ones, uh, you can definitely farm, uh, like Fala Veil, uh, Kid Omega, Bishop, so on and so forth. Uh, the only premium characters really you cannot farm uh, is Spider Woman, Morbius, uh, Mr. Sinister, Baron Mordo, well, Baron Zemo, uh, Yelena Belova, uh, Echo, Wenwu. And uh, what well, Wendell Vaughn stuff like that, but <clears throat> like I said, that's my take on the uh tier two premium selector. That's uh, my my personal opinion would probably be those four uh, either Nick Fury, Namor, uh, Dazzler, or Polaris. But like I said, it's up to you and your account. So, uh, just a quick little video on that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just collect everything because I did finish it. So, get a little bit of tier 3 materials, which is very nice. And that is my very first anniversary co uh, completion. Uh, so, I'm pretty pretty happy about that. So, uh, progress report on my bingo board. As you can see, I'm on level 4. Uh, I'm stuck right now because I need to get the crystals. But, hey... Uh, we do have some time left, so not really uh, upset about it right now, but I did get 
uh, three out of the five that I did want. Uh, let's see, we got the uh, Mighty CTP. I uh, got the uh, five star artifact selector, and I got the CTP selector. So, uh, so far, uh, pretty happy with my progress on that. Uh, make sure you do your crafting event also to get the uh, nine year anniversary event chest where you get uh, gold and some materials. As you can see, almost a million gold right there. It's very nice. Uh, the event quest where you need to get your tokens. Uh, and another thing, when I seen it, uh, I forgot to mention in the video uh, for story mode, you have to do normal. So, uh, just uh, I wouldn't do all of them, I would just do like uh, the ones for like each puzzle piece. I wouldn't just go through the whole story mode. That way, you can at least save some energy uh, for the dimensional clash and the true shield is just four uh, rounds. So, you do get uh, uh, the letters. And uh, so, so far, you should have 290 tokens. So, like I said in the event shop, uh, the best reward will be the premium card. Uh, if you're still uh, working on your cards or you need that one card to like complete. A card collection or your personal cards and uh, second probably best would be the CTP but you like I said we get those monthly now <clears throat> and there's other ways to farm the CTPs uh, tier 2 mega advancement ticket uh, if you have that premium character that you need uh, tier 2 uh, the artifact selector uh, Let's see who's all in there. All right, we have. All right, they did put Echo in this one because of the mid month update. But uh, as far as that goes, the only artifacts, if you did go for an artifact, and there's pretty good bit. <clears throat> we have still have Hope, Madeline, uh, Rachel Summers, uh, Icon, which is uh, really good for other world battle. Uh, you have uh, Better Bill, Gladiator, Ronin for the support, uh, Silver Surfer, or uh, Satana for the support also. So, but like I said, the uh, number one option will be your premium card. So, uh, just a quick little video, but <clears throat> that was my uh, personal opinion on the uh, Shield Archive Tier 2. Uh, premium selector uh, like I said most of these are farmable uh, most of them need their seasonal which is kind of cringe like Luna uh, Satana uh, anybody else in here with the seasonal I think that was it yes yeah, just those two but like I said my top four would, would probably be Nick Fury Namor uh, Dazzler and Polaris. So if you need a mutant team like for uh, ABL, uh, if you already have, and they we did get Polaris for free, but if you didn't have her, uh, I would pick her up because she is a good lead slash support. Uh, but those are my top four. So uh, choose wisely. Uh, hit me in the comment box down below. Uh, <clears throat> make sure to subscribe to me on uh, Twitch. I will start live streaming. Uh, on Saturdays, so come join us and uh, join my Discord. The description <clears throat> it's all in the description and in the box down below. All right, so make sure y'all smash that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.